Yes, Scampi is faster, it takes less RAM to run, and it has better integration with Windows. But before you go and change your whole workflow to Scampi, maybe have a look on how it is done and why it might or might not work for your use case. So I compare a total of three scenarios, loading in a small, medium and large data set and run a total of six different sections based on the PBMC single cell RNA SIG pipeline based on the official website of Surat and ScanPy. And I record the time taken for it to complete each step and what is the maximum RAM usage while running all this analysis. Okay, so the problem is ScanPy and Surat are actually designed quite differently in certain things. And there are some of them actually I can set my manual cutoff. For example, the filtering of the cell and features, uh, the task for fine markers, I set both on Wilcoxon and the number of neighbors in UMAP. Those are the manual parameters I can try to set, but there are certain things that design and I can't change it. And I don't think I should because I try to maintain all my code based on official instruction in order to actually preserve the recommendation that the author give to us. Otherwise, it might not seem fair. So for people that are interested in the benchmark and how it is run, you can take a look in the video description down below. I'll include the code that I use for the measuring and I'll hope that you can actually repeat it and see if it actually um, works the same way on your computer or completely different. So you can find out in the video description. So for the result, in a small data set, the two finish exactly the same time with the same RAM usage and it's really hard to tell the difference where one is running better than the other because there's such a small fluctuation in time. It might be actually based on the scheduler in Windows. It might be based on a background process in Windows. I don't know, but in small tests, they are almost exactly the same. However, when we switch to a medium and large data set, this is where we start to see a difference. We can see that Surat performed way faster in the clustering and the UMAP step, that's step five, but much slower in a fine marker function. Specifically, Surat is about 15% faster and 30% faster in the clustering steps. However, the fine marker is way slow in Surat at about twice as long and four times as long in a medium and large data set respectively. So this could be due to the fact that ScanPy is actually running these steps in step five, actually instead of step six, which is why it is actually way faster for the five marker step because they already run the clustering in a different process in step five, which is why in step five, Sura is faster, but step six, uh, ScanPy is way faster. That's one of the theory. One of the other significant uh, thing that I found in the process is that RAM usage of the program is very different. So in traditional mindset, yes, R use a, a lot more RAM, which we can actually observe in the large data set where actually Surat uses 13.3 gigabyte of RAM, that's 88%, while ScanPy only uses a maximum of 10.6 gigabyte. That's about 60 to 70% of the total system memory. So I'm running a 16 gigabyte total. So 88% total usage, it might actually push things into the page file. So it might actually slow down analysis in some way, depends on your SSD, obviously. I'm running a PCI Gen 4, so it's gonna be fast, but for you, it might be very different. So um, for people that, of course, running on a lower number of system memory, for example, Mac user, where RAM is SOC, so it's way more expensive, this might be very beneficial for you because you are able to run things much faster without using so many RAM. So the other observation I have is the multi-threading situation that I mentioned before, where during the UMAP clustering step, ScanPy is able to run all 12 of my CPU threads, while RStudio only run a single thread throughout the analysis, uh, which I believe is why the fine marker situation is so much faster in ScanPy compared to RStudio over here. So what we have found basically is ScanPy is better in every single thing that we do here in the benchmark. That's very true. However, this is kind of the beginning of the whole thing that I want to run. There's a lot more thing that we should run hard, such as integration, trajectory integrities, and just what if we just get bigger and bigger and bigger data set? Which one will actually be faster? Which one will actually be slower? And which one will be easier to run further downstream analysis, such as further visualization and integration with some other tool that we need from Bioconductor? So I do not know the answer for them yet. I'm still trying to go to test those. But if you are interested, I would say definitely say subscribe because those are coming soon. And for those that are more expert than I am, I don't know why you're watching the video, but uh, I have the code down below, so 
please have a look and tell me if I'm doing something completely wrong, such as in R, there's no really a good benchmark for it. And I don't know if using a system time is going to affect the, the speed of the execution. Uh, and I do not know if this is the correct way to test the speed of execution as well as the RAM use it for Python, because even though R has an environment that tell you you're using four to six gigabyte, uh, Python in Visual Studio doesn't have that clear way of telling how much RAM you're using at this current moment of time, which is why I resorted to using system memory. So I also I also put all the uh, result that I have at the current moment in the video description down below. Feel free to actually go in and have a look and actually the best thing, uh, run it on your system, comment down below. Does, does the same trend actually happens to you or am I just completely uh, wrong with the way that I design my benchmark. That's all I want to say for today. I want to say thank you for watching and we'll see you in part two of Python versus R on the ultimate single cell analysis challenge and stuff like that. That's all. Bye.